going to be a quick lesson on some of the options that you have with applying styling using JavaScript. So first off, we're going to select the elements, then create a couple of elements that we can apply styling to, add some content into the elements, and then go through some of the styling, commonly used styling options, all using JavaScript. So it's coming up in this lesson. And what this is going to do is this is going to update the element style attribute with property values for the ones that are being set with JavaScript. And update the just the regular hello world, which was the original element on the page, and add in the new elements and apply styling to them. HTML file called index.html. We've got one page element with a class of output and the text content is hello world. So we're going to be selecting that with JavaScript and making some updates, manipulating the style properties all with JavaScript. I've connected it to a script source file app15.js opened up within the same directory as the index file. So first of all, we're going to select the element that we want to interact with. So using the document and query selector, Let's select that element, and this is the element with a class of output. And we're going to add some elements, creating them on the fly with JavaScript. So creating our first one, I'll call it div1, and I'm going to place that within the output element. So I'm going to create elements, and the element that we're creating is going to be a div. And then adding that into the output and appending the element value of div1. And let's do the same, adding in several other divs into the page. And then we'll make some updates of these elements. So for the first div, uh, now that we've got it within an object, we can add some inner HTML. And that inner HTML will say hello world one. So add that to the page. So there's hello world one. And I'll update adding in to div2. And if you don't need to add any HTML text, then you can just use text content to update the inner text content of the element. If we take a closer look at the element values within the source code of the elements within output, there's our original content within output. And then we appended it by adding the two divs that we created dynamically with JavaScript code. So let's apply some styling properties to those elements. And the styling can be done. Uh, so as long as you're doing it after you've created or identified, selected the element from the page, then you can interact with the element object. So the styling is done with the style. And within the editor, you can see there's quite a lot of options here that we have for style. There's things like the font size. And notice that it's all done within a camel case. So we can set the property and the value associated with that property. Uh, we can also set style and then there's padding for the element. Uh, so we can use picks for the padding. And actually that's gonna be pretty big. So let's stick to 10 picks for the padding. So that adds in a 10 picks for padding around it. So div one, style, and let's set the border property. So the border property, we can set the individual border, so the left, right, and top, or we could do for the entire border, just like we do with styling, where we're selecting and applying that as a shorthand method to apply the styling to the element. Uh, let's also do a border for the div2, and for this element, setting a blue border. I'm gonna add some margins for div2. So style and margin. And you can do margin top as well as left, right. There's margin bottom. And then there's the shorthand for margin for all the way around. So if we want to add the margin for top and bottom, just like with styling, we can do a 20 picks for top and bottom. And then left and right, we can keep at auto. So that will automatically set the border for it. Uh, div2 style. You can also update the width if you want. So the width, uh, let's set the width to be 50% of the page. And because we've got the left and right margin set to auto, that's automatically going to center it. Uh, let's also apply some styling and we'll do a text align styling. Uh, so in order to center the text, we can apply that. 
to center the text. Uh, there's also where we can update uh, the line height. So anything that you can do with styling, you can do an addition. So setting the line height, and I'll set the line height to be 50 picks. And then also for the element itself, the style height, let's set that to 50 picks as well. So that will vertically align the text. Uh, let's also do a center for the div2 text. So selecting that text and setting a center. Div2 style, uh, let's update the color of the font. So turning it to red. And note that there's no spaces or dashes for the property names. We're using the camel case, which is the lower, and then for the next, the second word, it's an uppercase. Uh, let's do one more where we'll do the text text uh, transform and set that to be uppercase. And that object actually should be div2. So save that and we can text transform it to uppercase as well. So anything that you can do with styling, you can do with JavaScript within the style property and then selecting the property and setting a value for it. And the values are all string values that we're assigning to these properties. And when you go into the element, you're gonna see that the properties have been added to the element using the style attribute and adding those property values for styling to that element directly in line in the attribute of the style.